Most people know Farmer Dave Scher as a musician who's played with bands Beachwood Sparks and Jenny Lewis. But most people don't know that he has really spicy nuts. I'm in Venice Beach, California, and Farmer Dave Scher, my name is Spanky Van Dyke, and I'm coming over. So we're here today with my friend Farmer Dave. Farmer, how are you doing? Hey! Welcome to the dojo. So good to see you here. Yes, thank you for inviting us over. What are you going to make for us today? Farmer Dave's Hot Nuts. It's a lovely habanero roasted almond recipe from my Aunt Linda. Excellent. How did you get started making hot nuts? Well, I was a broke-ass musician back, you know, between tours and needed a little something extra to do, I think, uh, metaphorically. <laughs> and my aunt recommended it, you know. I got into the game. I've been happy. People are happy, nourished, Sounds refreshed. Like advice. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. So it's a delicious all win situation. Everybody Excellent. wins. Excellent. So farmer's gonna make some hot nuts. Let's get into this. Hey yeah. Hello everybody. My name is Farmer Dave and we're about to begin the great journey of my hot nuts. Try them is to love them, and we'll take you through the basics right now. Starting with some good olive oil. For six pounds of nuts, I use a full cup here. You're gonna need heat for hot nuts. I would recommend something with habanero. Habanero means be very careful. These almonds are gonna go out there and bring a lot of joy and nourishment to people. So I gotta have my A game when I'm making these almonds. And I recommend you do the same if you're ever making food, even for yourself, man. Give yourself some props on this one, but especially other people. You're putting yourself in the captain's chair. This is the seasoning salt, and I think I'll do about three of these today. Shabanga. Here we go. California almonds, again, represent. All right, guys, you know what to do. Let's get in there and have a good, clean game. Stirring time. This is where you might be distracted. And again, I encourage you to take the time. Each one of these almonds needs to be nicely coated. This is like an ensemble piece, you know, you don't want to rush it. The almonds deserve the full thing. If you're gonna do it at all, you gotta go all the way to Chinatown with this baby. All right, we have stirred my nuts. They are happy, they are coated. And it's time to put these babies in the heat. Are you ready? It's six pounds here. And off we go. Don't have far to go. And I say, all right, guys, I'm gonna bring a lot of joy to a lot of people. I want you to get nice and hot, keep it delicious, and I'll see you in 30. And we're back. My little friend here tells me it's time to check on the almonds. The old nose test is passing. You notice they're browning really, really well. This is a killer batch. You came along for a good one. This is one of those times when you do wish that they had invented uh, cameras that recorded scent because this next stage is a whopper. Hear that little symphony of delicious? Now, I used to stir the garlic in, but you know what? It'll get to the bottom and burn. So now I carefully, you know what I stirred the almonds first. Now I just coat with the garlic. Just a little bit across the top. Don't push the garlic down where the heat mass will blacken it. Just let it sit there on the top. I'm not a fan of the trickle down economic theory, but with garlic I think it will. Now we're in our final 10. I'm gonna close it up and we'll check on them. And that should be it. All right, everybody, it's that time. It's been great hanging with you and uh, it's the moment we've all been waiting for. And the Oscar goes to these guys. Excellent. 
Now you can see here, little darkness, so they, they're coming in hot. So it's time to cut the heat and give it a nice stirring. And because I see that they have the potential to darken, this is kind of where I surf, surf it. I've got to keep stirring them. You don't want to see too many burns like that. So you ride it out. If you baby them too much, they won't get the crunch you're looking for. So that's why I use the surfing metaphor. You're balancing, you know, you're shredding the now. And I actually, you know, anytime you cook food for your friends, uh, you know, they've, they've measured water. Molecules are changed by intention and energy. So I say, guys, good job. Can't wait to share you with the world to go out there and kick some ass for me. Make people happy and feel nutrition and I bestow on you all of my uh, positive vibes so that whoever eats you will have a you know good good energy from me coming through you. So I send that into my uh, my work. All right, so magically delicious. So good. Uh, yes. Farmer, thanks for having us over today. Always a pleasure. Come on by, guys, anytime. Uh, I love it. Thanks for inviting us into your dojo. Yeah, and enjoy yeah. the nuts, people. Go out there, go forth and conquer. Great nuts. We'll yeah. see you soon. To your help. Nuts are straight out of the oven. Yes, they are, ma'am. <laughs> Cut! <laughs> Shall we go again? I love my star.